Oh yeah, yeah, that would be good. Give it out at Christmas on the on the Demonstration of the Wretch Ultra Centrifugal Mill. The Ultra Centrifugal Mill ZM200 is a high speed rotor mill with unmatched performance. It is used for the rapid size reduction of soft to medium hard and fibrous materials. The optional vibrator feeder is load controlled via an interface and ensures a uniform grind at maximum output rate. Feed material can be soft, medium hard, brittle, fibrous. Size reduction principle is impact and or shearing. Material feed size is less than 10 millimeters and final size is less than 40 microns. The speed is adjustable between 6,000 and 8,000 RPM. It is powered by 120 volts, 60 hertz, 20 amp service. First let me show you a few things before we turn it on. This mill has many applications. Typical applications are powdered coatings, food additives, animal feeds, and plastic, and complemented by new uses in environmental and medical applications, electronic board for recycling purposes, waste products for secondary fuels, plants, roots, and natural materials, bone material for implants, and of course, pharmaceuticals. Before we start it up, I'd like to show you a few things. First, to unlock it, we'll power it up. I'm going to open the cover here. Now, considering that this has to be very, very clean uh, for different applications, it is suggested that you always wear gloves when you touch the surfaces, and I'm going to take it apart and show it to you. Now, the user's manual is very good, and in the user's manual, it gives it a step-by-step -step, um, display of how you would take it apart and use it, and in fact, right here is how you take apart the inside and I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. First we'll take off this cover. Then we have this grate right here. Now, the rotor itself is available in four different configurations. Uh, this particular one here has 12 lobes on it. Uh, it's also available with six and 24 lobes as well. The matching labyrinth part right here, let me show you how that comes out. This is nice and tight so you don't lose any material. That will come out. And this is the labyrinth itself that fits in there. Reassembly is very simple, so you can clean this very easily. It's pinned in place. You can then replace the output chute. Next, the rotor. Heavy duty. Grinding screen and the top cover.
This would be the collecting um, uh, container here. Simply drops down like that. Take care, there is an O-ring seal in here that has to be in place for it to seal. That can easily be put back on. The upper part, now this is here because this will create um, its own dust and that can be collected and or you can also connect a vacuum to this as well to dispose of the unwanted material. Now, you can close this lid. Now one thing, when you close this lid, it will lock itself in place, but you give it a slight push And now that it says press start, you cannot open this. This is the vibrating feeder. All of this can be synchronized to a certain um, process running time as well. If you turn this on, It then allows you to set the time on here, let's say for example, one minute. And then once you push the button, it will vibrate and we'll show you the amplitude. And depending on the amplitude you select, will decide on the amount that is fed in uh, over that period of time. As far as operating it, it's very simple to do. Um, we'll start by just pushing the start button here. Now the speed is variable, as I had mentioned earlier. So you can change that speed by just rotating the dial here. Uh, going up in speed, you would go clockwise. Push one more time. thousand RPM twelve fourteen stopped, a brake will come on, and when it says remove sample, it will allow you to once again open the top cover. This is an ultra accurate system, very clean, and again, it, uh, when in a laboratory environment, it's uh, very applicable to different medical uses, which has become more popular with this particular type of technology. And it locks. Also, one more thing is this button here. If you aren't uh, running a process, but you want to be able to open the cover, this is convenient. It will release the cover for you so you can prepare different samples for grinding.
There you go. And that completes this demonstration.